my journey began. It's graduation time. Family is very important to me, including my puppies. The Marine Corps played a huge role in my life and allowed me to be ambitious, inspiring, a mentor, and achieve all of my goals. As a financial expert, I've received multiple awards, done various events as a guest speaker all over the U.S. with my platform of creating healthy financial habits, along with having my own business, all leading up to my show. Come along for the journey. Hello, Gems, and welcome to our New Year's Eve and final episode of 2020. Can't believe the year is finally over. We did it. It was a long year, but we are here. We have a great episode for you today. We are rounding out the month with a talented, highly skilled, and successful business owner as our special guest. Her story will touch those who believe in the connection between love and acceptance with taking that love and spreading it to others. Now, before I introduce you to our guests, let me give you just a taste of what we're gonna be talking about today. Now, you might think alcohol belongs in a glass and not a dessert, but I say alcohol belongs in your hand regardless, and a tasty dessert never hurt anybody. There's roughly about 14% or more of alcohol in desserts, depending on the recipe. Now, you may ask, can you get intoxicated and or drunk off of desserts mixed or infused with alcohol? Yes. Yes, you can. Of course you can, because it all depends on how much you eat, the time frame that you eat it in, and of course, the recipe. Now, in the United States, America's favorite dessert is chocolate chip cookies. Who doesn't like a yummy, 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 tasty chocolate chip cookie? Followed by apple pie, which is one of my favorites. And rounding up the top three is cheesecake. About 40% of consumers eat dessert at least two times during the week. So we are already eating desserts. You're definitely gonna eat up this one. So let me get to today's special guest. She was born in Marietta, Georgia. Her two favorite desserts growing up were lemon cake and sweet potato pie. Her favorite dessert to bake is a punch bowl cake. That just sounds delicious in all kinds of ways. I can't wait for her to make me one when I visit in Georgia. And for fun, she enjoys baking with her children and teaching them how to make shapes out of the things that they like. She currently resides in East Atlanta where her business is also located. Let's welcome Divine to today's New Year's Eve Rockin' show. How are you doing today? I'm great. How are you? I am doing, doing well. I want to get this show going because they definitely need to know about these tasty treats. So yes. tell us how the concept of luxury vine treats got created. How the concept got created? Yeah, when... where it all began. It began on my little trip in this world through foster care. Yes. And it's designed to make people happy and feel loved because in foster care, it was a lot going on, as some people know. Um, right. foster care, you want to feel loved. You want to have a place to call home. You want others to love you, appreciate you, share interests with. So therefore, luxury buy treats with, you know, infusements. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And... I, I love it, having that baking with love concept in there. And people may think, well, doesn't everybody bake with love? No, actually they don't because not a lot of people enjoy baking or cooking, but it really does give it an extra oomph when someone says, I enjoy what I do. This is my passion and I bake with love. I love it. So how did you kind of segue to creating desserts infused with alcohol? Tell us about that. Well, at first I became a bartender. Mm -hmm. I wanted to become a bartender ever since I was little. I was always the one who made the mixed drinks when we went to family gatherings, their holidays, the Thanksgiving parties, Christmas parties. I was always that go-to person. Right. So I was putting that into baking and baking and cooking are like the most things that I have to do because I have children right. and I have a big family. So I put those two together, did a lot of trial and errors, and then turned around and I made luxury vine treats with infusement of alcohol. 
Absolutely. And I understand one of the new or the beginning treats that you did was being able to mix the alcohol and icing. So how did that go? Because I know you, if you put too much, the icing can just get liquefied. Or if you don't put enough, people are like, there's still no alcohol in there. So how did that go with doing the trial and error and finding the right recipe for that? It took me two trial and errors with the but with my homemade buttercream icing. Right. It was a little first. I was like, hmm, well, maybe let me put a little less. So I started putting lesser and lesser. And then it came out to the consistency that I wanted to stand up, make the shapes, make the designs on there. And there we have it. We have buttercream infused Hennessy cupcakes or, any, you know, anything like infusement with buttercream. Absolutely. Absolutely. And Jim's just when she said when she was little, she was making drinks 21 and up. Okay. Not little. I don't want you guys to hear little and think she was too on a high chair and think you're not how your brain goes. So I just want to clarify that she was of age. Alcohol. Okay. So back to Miss Divine. So how much was your initial investment to start the business? My initial investment was $400 and that went towards the baking products for the getting everything together, the mixer, the uh, the supplies I needed as far as the baking tubing, the design tips, right. the pots and pans. Absolutely. So you've got all that together, initial investment. I always like to tell other business owners or everybody else out there, like your initial investment doesn't have to be this huge number. It doesn't have to be in the thousands. You don't need this huge, you know, state of the art cooking material, baking material. She literally just used what she had in her kitchen, which obviously worked and she's been making tasty treats with that so far and just kind of added just a little bit more things to give the, the extra pop and the extra care that she was making to her desserts. So when did you launch and start your business? I launched my business officially September 2022. Yay, uh, yay I know, right? <laughs> but it has been going on for a while. I just didn't put a name to it. I was just doing little things. Like I said, I was just going places and like, you need this? Okay, let me make this for you. I can do this. Right. And, you know, some people say you never want to do a lot, but you just want to do enough. So right. I try to give people like samples. I'm good with samples. You want a sample? Here you go. I'm good with it. I want everybody to taste the love that I actually have for people. Absolutely. Tasting the love. And on your website, when they go into the Luxury Vines Treat to actually purchase the infused desserts, tell me a little bit more of that so they know the process because this these desserts are for adults only. So let them know about how they can actually do that. Yes. So to actually go in person, there will be, when you go on my website, there will be a pop-up that says 21 and older. You have, to, <laughs> and you have to click on it and it will tell you the requirements. The requirements basically are, you have to send a photo scan ID mm -hmm. to Luxury Vines Treats. It will, send, it will have the email on the website. And also, you have to send a picture of yourself. Yes. It can't be your mother. It can't be your father. It can't be none of that. It has to be the same ID that, the same ID picture that the person sends. Absolutely. So I want my gems to know that she's taking proper care to make sure that these alcohol infused desserts go to the right audience. They go to her right target market to 21 and up. So please try your best, you know, to make sure your teenagers or young adults aren't going on to this website and using someone else's ID and someone else's picture for it, because we really want to make sure her business stays towards that and it stays legitimate. Um, everyone will, will reach the age of 21. You'll, you'll get to enjoy these treats at least a few times in your life. So just take care of that part of that is highly, very, very important, especially when you're selling alcohol on the web. So tell us what was the first dessert infused with alcohol that you made? Because it sounds tasty. Well, they, they are really tasty. And the first one I made was Hennessy infused cupcake. Ooh, ooh, you got them with that. And so what event was that for? How did that come up? Was that a request from someone or you was, they, they just told you, hey, make me something. And you were like, I got something for you. All right. How'd that come about? 
Well, I knew the person. The person was a good customer of mine already making regular uh, cupcakes and, right. you know, cakes and stuff. So she loves the cupcakes. And so I just, she loves Hennessy. So I was like, well, let me go ahead and take this one out for a run. And I did the Hennessy infused cupcakes for her. Uh, it was in the icing and it was in the cup, the actual cupcakes and nice. the little dropper that was inside the cupcake. And how about roughly how many did you end up making for this event? And what event did you make it for? I made it, I made a dozen for the event and it was a I forgot. <laughs> baby shower. I think it was for the baby shower. We love it. The baby shower. Hey, you got to keep everybody else that's able to, be, to eat the cakes 21 and up enjoyed yeah. with that. That's awesome. And what was the feedback from that? They loved it. It was, they, everybody was requesting my cards and we did put it at a separate table. Yes. That said 21 <laughs> and older. And I was watching it. Cause like I said, I'm an event planner as well. So I, yes. I put my eyes on those cupcakes. My eyes on you. Yes. Yes. They loved it. They requested cards. They requested, um, pictures a lot of stuff I got a lot of orders from there I was just working working throwing stuff everywhere you know getting everything together it, it was it was a good turnout it was good good sound like it was a process um so I want to kind of let the gyms know just how did you master with the the cake part of the cupcake doing the icing is one thing but actually doing the batter because like I said, we were talking before, you know, you can put too much and destroy the texture and taste. So making sure that cupcake came out right, the icing and now the cupcake. So walk us through that, because that may have been a different process than just doing the icing. Yes, it was a whole total different <laughs> process. Yes. The icing was easy. Like I said, it was two tries, but the cakes and the texture and also getting them to stay moist with the alcohol, right. Because alcohol absorbs a lot. Okay. So it was it was a lot. It became that was the try your error. They that was like I'll say 20 tries and errors. Yes. <laughs> Not with the same cake. It was right. a different cake. Okay. Cause everybody likes different. So I had to make sure that it worked for each kind of cake that I had or that I knew that was gonna be requested. For each, probably each for one single cake was like a yellow cake or a white cake or a chocolate cake. It took about, I'll say, three tries to get it right. And that's right. efficiently get it right. So where I know I can add a little bit of this and take out this. Right. So it, it took me a lot. I had to write down a couple of things yes. for what best worked for me. And also... The box cakes, they was harder. Okay. <laughs> they was harder to do, but I, I mastered it. So I'm going to keep doing that. <laughs> so when you say the box cake, as opposed to making it from scratch? Yes, from making it from scratch, it was easier because of the fact that I know I can take out flour, yes. a little bit of flour, and add this, and it will keep the texture. Or I can add tar and it will make this change from this or baking soda. So it was easier to make it from scratch than it was to put it in the box because the box case has different consistencies of stuff. Right, and consistency is the key. So just making sure everybody know that, hey, not everyone can do this. You know, she's mastered it because she's done the trial and error and she's taken the notes down like she said, she has the recipes for how this works. So wanted you to know the hard work and the labor that went into it. So she did just say not one time, not two times, maybe 20 times. And that's different ingredients. So if this one doesn't work, nobody can eat it. Being able to kind of eat that cost per se, until you kind of figure it out with what it is. And like that one cake may have taken two or three tries. So kudos to you for having the persistence and the patience to kind of dabble with that on and off until you made sure every cake and every cupcake, every dessert that you give to the clients is of high quality, so great. I know you did another gender reveal event as well. So tell us a little bit more about that and tell us what did you make for this one? Cause this one is another one, they gonna love it. I'm telling you, they gonna love it. The gender reveal was only for adults. Yes. So 
The whole party. It wasn't no little kids running around. No, the gender reveal was only for adults. It was actually like a bachelorette party type of thing mm. because they was she was going out. You know, it was her first child. They told her they couldn't have children. So yeah. we had to do something to where she can, you know, relax and stuff. She didn't have to eat the cake. She didn't have to eat the cupcakes, but yeah. she had her own little stuff going on. So we made cupcakes infused with Crown Royal. And you right. made cupcakes. I knew they was gonna do it. Come here. Come here, Charlie. Come here, Charlie. See, this is why I tell y'all to put the stuff up and I get them up. We'll just keep going. They just gonna have to bark. Someone came to the door and someone come here. Everybody in here. To tell, tell everybody Happy New Year since that's what I wanted to do. Okay, go on. So, they were, they were quiet and they were doing what they were supposed to do. Back to you. Sorry for the interruption, Jims. It's cold outside. I had them up. It didn't work. So, back to you. She had the gender reveal. You did it for her. The Crown Royal Cupcakes. And how did that go? Did they just eat it all up and you're like wait a minute there's there's not there's not even crumbs left on the table yes i actually was the event planner for the uh gender reveal and it was gone less than i, I don't know what happened to them. I, I just i don't know people were just licking their fingers and up to me you made these you, this is your creation I'm right like, yeah. yes, i did they were like no we love it we love it right <laughs> Can we do this? Do you do other things? And I was telling them, yes, yes. Right. Of course. <laughs> right, right. I swear, the only day, the only time. So I want to tell our, our gems about another treat that you do because I love these growing up. And when you told me that you did them, I was like, oh, this is going to be hit. So tell me how you're able to infuse gummy bears with alcohol. This is This is another one of my amazing treats that I'm just, I'm delighted to get taste of yummy. Yes. Okay. So that the gummy bear started because someone asked me, since you do the alcohol in the cupcakes and you can infuse it into the cakes, can you do other things? And I was like, other things like what? Tell me. <laughs> like, you know, yeah, I can do whatever you want me to do. <laughs> Just give me a week or two and I got you. I got you. Right. So then they was like, oh. Uh oh. You put your you put your mute on. There you go. I didn't touch it. I didn't touch anything. It just went it just <laughs> went, it muted for a tiny bit. I don't know what is going on. We're just happy that 2020 is almost over this is, this, is, this is why 2020 needs to end everybody you hear me this is new year's eve and this is why it needs to end so you left off i think before i got me left off with the gummy bears they you they gave you just a few days or you said just give you a few days before um you can come up with something yes yeah, so i can do try your errors because i haven't done them before they wanted wine gummy bears oh. and so my first thing was, okay, well, I wonder if it's like the Hennessy. You have to put it in different things and try it out. But actually, it was a lot easier. It was like making jello okay. without the water. It was wine. So now I've learned how to do different, how many bears I can make with this amount and how many, how they would come out with looking with the molds and things like that. I can do almost any shape of gummy bears, any kind of gummy bears now. <laughs> love it, love it. Gummy in you, gummy bears. So when did you know that your business was a success? Uh, I knew that it was a success when it was just, everybody was just telling me, everybody after, after I did a lot of different free things, I really wasn't thinking about the money. I wasn't mm -hmm. thinking oh, I got to turn a profit. I, I wasn't thinking about none of that until I went to Alabama. I have family in Alabama. And they was like, oh, we'll pay for these. And I was actually doing it for a way. And I was like, no, like, this is my treat to you guys. Like, right. this is 
can do. This is something easy. Everybody can taste. Everybody can get. You know, it was something simple. Not everybody, but everyone who's over 21 can <laughs> get it and enjoy themselves and feel loved by it. Because, you know, when you taste a tree, you're thinking, oh, this is yummy. Well, you want to think. Okay, you want to think. You don't want to taste nothing that's bitter and you're like, oh, what is this? No, you want to feel that there's love in the treats. And that's what I try to do. Everyone loved it. So that's when, <laughs> yeah, that's when I, I just, you know, infuse alcohol gummies. And, everything. <laughs> <laughs> and so through word of mouth and your tasty treats, you're the talk of the town. So now you're getting the requests are flying in and they're going so who are your target audience or who do you particularly make most of your um, adult infused desserts for? To adults. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 21 and older. Must be 21 and older. You can be 22. But 21 and older. Uh, the parties, the bachelorette parties, 21 and older parties, gender reveal, 21 and older. Uh, as long as they're adults, are there yes. and there's an adult section yes. and it's probably made for adults so therefore it's adults only absolutely to include weddings and i want to um jim to know that she might have been at some of these events earlier because they knew her and she invited it she may not be at your event so when you get these desserts from her it is up to you to like she said putting in a different corner putting in a different space maybe putting hey, this is for 21 and up so that you don't see a little kid that wants the cupcake pulling the wrong cupcake and then we, we have tummy aches and all kinds of stuff. So just make sure that you, if you're having more of a mixed age crowd, that you are separating these desserts. You definitely don't want anyone um, having any mishaps for that. So as you expand your business, are you able to ship to customers outside of your local area? Yes, we are able to ship to other cities, other states, but the only thing is we have some exceptions with what we ship and how we ship it. We do let the customer know firsthand what can be shipped and what we refer to for them to get what they need in time. So that is a big thing. We currently ship the cupcakes, of course. We do the mini cupcakes, we do gummies, we do, like, like I said, any kind of gummies that would be in the ship. We do brownies, <laughs> cupcakes, I mean, cookies. And that's basically what I prefer to ship. All our chocolate stuff that's going to be, you know, we prefer not to ship that uh, yes. different cities right now because of the breakableness. But hey, if you want it, we can talk about it. <laughs> Absolutely. So, Jim, what she's saying is, is that she can ship to you. There are some items that are easier to ship. If you want something else, she does have to give you that disclosure for shipping so that you're aware that how it comes, that it may not be in the same form. You all know sometimes it's hard for us to even drive a cupcake home from the bakery to your house, let alone for her to ship it to you. So if you're interested in it, do just give her a call, give her an email, and she'll talk you through what would be the best option for you so that the tape and the texture will not be, al be altered once you get the reserve. So I know you have some holiday, now that we're in almost a two year, with some discounts that are still going on. So definitely want to make sure our audience catches those last discounts before we go into 2021. So tell us a little bit about, uh, bit about those discounts. Our discounts for the holiday season and also it's probably going to be out until April. And then we'll change it again because April is my birthday. Woohoo! Woo woo! It has uh, an April discount from April to I don't know what right now, but we'll figure that out when April comes. But right now we have the 50% off for 10 packages of gummies. Mm -hmm. It can be flavor, it can be mixed variety. You just go and inquire about it, it will be on the website put up. We also have the 20, uh, 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 sorry, 25. That's okay. It's 2020, girl. It's 2020. It's getting all of us. We ask why, again, we are ready to move on. Yes. So you also have the. <laughs> they also have the 25% off for two dozen cupcakes, which is the whole, you could do either the minis or the big 
uh, cupcakes, which yeah. everybody loves. Yeah. And then right now we have the brownie. Ooh. That's okay. We have the brownie and cookie discount, which is you can do a mixed variety of brownies and cookies. It will be 50% off for the mixed variety. It will be 10% for at least a dozen of brownies. It can be any kind of brownies, uh, infused mint. And and for <laughs> the cookies, it will be 10% off for a dozen. Nice. Oh, oh, oh. Very, very good, delicious stuff. And I know you have a, another surprise treat that she just whipped up in the kitchen. So guys, this is what she has right now. But trust and believe Miss Divine is staying in the kitchen and saying, ooh, let me, mm, that tastes good. I'm gonna be whip that together. She has whipped up a really, really, really big dessert. Tell them about that one. So our new dessert is called the chocolate covered infused pineapples. Ooh. That so, yes, go ahead. This one with that we are considering shipping because it does and it will sometimes be frozen. It's so good. It's it sucks up all the infusement alcohol yes. and it just gets you right with the chocolate. Like who doesn't love chocolate and alcohol? I so do. Good? And I'm so kind of. Yes, and I'm about to say it, it all rocks them like like a popsicle, just like a popsicle. Oh, that tastes good. And another thing I want all of our gyms to know is: do they get to pick their specific alcohol, or do you just have a set um, alcohol that you know works best for each recipe? Any alcohol that they choose, it can be picked. If it's not on the website, you can inquire about it, and I will give you. Uh, a pricing and set. We can talk about it. We can chat about it. We can make your own. Absolutely, because I know some of our adult gyms. You know, some may white like white liquor more than dark liquor. Some, you know, may upset. You know, stomach or give you headaches. So that's definitely wanted to make sure they do have those options. So a lot of options. <laughs> yes, a lot of options. So this was absolutely a treat for me and everybody else. I always ask my, my guests when they come on to show to leave us with an inspirational quote, something that's meaningful for you that you want to share with us. What is your inspirational quote? My inspirational quote, I have a few of them, but the one I would love to share is baking and cooking is mentally and physically, emotionally, and mentally, oh, not mentally, ooh, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's helpful and loveful and as long as you enjoy it it take and take the time to do it you will show it in your baking and cooking to others yes yes so inspiration through what it is that you're most passionate about the happiness the love the care that goes into that. So definitely an inspiration that can go to everyone. Divine, thank you so much for being on the show today. For having me. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So gems, remember, buy, share, and enjoy these beautiful adult infused desserts by her. So in closing, I'd like to say creating healthy financial habits is a lifelong commitment. Without change, there'll be no butterflies. Without change, there'll be no butterflies. So when you see a butterfly, just know that some type of metamorphosis and a change happen, and that same change can be with you. Changing habits, changing lives, and futures are all up to you. Happy New Year, you guys. We're bringing in 2021. May you have a abundance of good health, prosperity, and finance, peace, love, and happiness. Happy New Year, guys. Happy New Year. We'll see you in 2021.